What is up, my fellow Cheebits? Hopefully all of you are having a very good day today, because today I want to bring something very special to all of you since it's the holidays. As you can see on the screen and by the title, I'm here to bring all of you a Doki Doki Let's Play. Now, just a brief FYI, I have not played this game, this is my first time playing it, and I actually have not watched anybody play it on YouTube. The only thing I know about this game is, is that it's a visual novel, and it's a messed up game, something I would like. So that's really the only thing I know about this game, and for about a month and a half to two months now, many have been recommending me to play this. So here I am to give all of you guys a nice, good Christmas gift. I really do hope this video does well. I'd love to continue making videos for this and upload it. Hopefully it goes well, because I don't normally upload, you know, gameplay videos, so just let me know know through the comments and also likes if you guys want more of this but anyways let us begin this game is not suitable for children or those who are easily disturbed okay so this already seems like it's my type of series individuals suffering from anxiety or depression may not have a safe experience playing this game for content warnings please hold okay so this is going to be a really dark game. I've heard it's messed up, but it's going to be a really dark game then. Okay, by playing Doki Doki Literature Club, you agree that you are at least 13 years of age and you consent to your exposure of highly disturbing content. Okay. Hey! Oh, I, I, I gotta have to do voices. I just realized this is now. Oh, man, I'm gonna be bad at this. <laughs> okay. I see an annoying girl running towards me from a distance, waving her arms in the air like she's totally oblivious to any attention she might draw to herself. That girl is Sayori, my neighbor and good friend since we were children. You know the kind of friend you never see yourself making today, but it just kind of works out because you've known each other for so long. That is relatable, I understand that. We used to walk to school together on days like this, but starting around high school, she would oversleep more and more frequently, and I would get tired of waiting up. Oh, so she was lazy. But if she's going to chase after me like this, I almost feel better off running away. However, I just sigh and idle in front of the crossroad and let Sayori uh, catch up to me. Huh? Huh? Oh, I, I'm gonna do it. I'm doing it. I overslept again, but I caught you this time. Maybe. But, oh, ask me. Maybe, but only because I decided to stop and wait for you. Eh? You say that like you were thinking about ignoring me. That's mean, Chibi. It's weird, you know, talking to third person. Ooh. Okay, well, if people stare at you for acting weird, then I don't want them to think we're a couple or something. Huh. Fine, fine. But you did wait for me after all. I guess you didn't have it in you to be mean, even if you wanted to. Whatever you say, Sayori. <laughs> we cross the street together and make our way to school. As we draw near, the streets become increasingly uh, speckled with other students making their daily commute. By the way, Chibi, have you decided on a club to join yet? A club? I told you already. I'm really not interested in joining any club. That, that sounds just like me. That legit sounds like me. I haven't been looking either. Eh? That's not true. You told me you would join a club this year. Did I? I'm sure it's possible that I did in one of our many conversations where I dismissively go along with whatever she's going on. <laughs> oh man, that's rude. So already likes to worry a little too much about me when I'm perfectly content just getting by on the average while spending my free time on games and anime. This, this legit sounds relatable as hell. Uh-huh. I was talking about how I worried that you wouldn't learn how to socialize or have any skills before <laughs> Oh, okay, okay. Why does this game feel like it's targeting me? I, I feel targeted right now. Your happiness is really important to me, you know. And I know you're happy now, but I die at the thought of you becoming a neat in a few years because you're not used to the real world. This game's targeting me. You trust me, right? Don't make me uh, keep worrying about you. All right, all right. I'll look at a few clubs if it makes you happy. No promises, though. That sounds like me! <laughs> Will you at least promise me you'll try a little? Yeah, I guess I'll promise you that. Yay! Why do I let myself get lectured by such a carefree girl? More than that, I'm surprised that I can even let myself relent to her. I guess seeing her worry so much about me makes me want to ease her mind at least a little bit, even if she does exaggerate everything inside of her head. So far, nice start. The school day is as ordinary as ever, and it's over before I know it. After I pack up my things, I stare blankly at the wall, looking for an ounce of motivation. Clubs. 
Sayori wants me to check out some clubs. I guess I have no choice but to start with the anime club. Hello! Sayori! Oh, oop, my bad. Sayori. Sayori must have come into the classroom while I was spacing out. I look around and realize I'm the only one left in the classroom. I thought I'd catch you coming out of the classroom, but I saw you just sitting here and spacing out, so I came in. Honestly, you're even worse than me sometimes. I'm impressed. You don't need to wait up for me if it's going to make you late to your own club. Well, I thought you might need some encouragement, so I thought, you know... Know what? Well, that you could come to my club. Sayori. Yay! <laughs> there is no way I'm going to your club. Eh, meanie. Sayori is vice president of the Literature Club. Okay, title, Doki Doki Literature Club. Doki Doki stands for heartbeat, right? Heart... Well, I think it is. Not that I was even aware that she had any interest in literature. In fact, I'm 99% sure she only did it because she thought it would be fun to help start a new club. I like that pal. I, I really like that pal. I'm not even gonna lie. I like that pal. Since she was the first one to show interest after the one who proposed the club, she inherited the title of Vice President. That said, my interest in literature is guaranteed to be even less. Yeah, I'm going to the anime club. Come on, please! Why do you care so much anyway? I kind of told the club yesterday I'd bring in a new member. And Natsuki made cupcakes and everything. Okay, I'd go for cupcakes, I'm not even gonna lie. <laughs> Don't make promises you can't keep. I can't tell if Sayori is really that much of an airhead or if she's so cunning as to have planned all of this out. I let out a long sigh. <sighs> Fine, I'll stop by for a cupcake, okay? Th th this is me! This is legit me! Now I would do that! Yay! Let's go! And thus today marks the day I sold my soul for a cupcake. Oh my... <laughs> okay, okay. I, I have a feeling this is going to have a lot of weight to it in the future. I dejectedly follow Sayori across the school and upstairs, a section of the school I rarely visit, being genuinely used for third year's classes and activities. Sayori, full of energy, swings open the classroom door. Everyone! The new member is here! I told you, don't call me a new- Oh, <clears throat> my bad. I told you, don't call me a new member. Eh, I glance around the room. Oh, I am- hmm. I wonder what voice I should use for her. Eh, eh, hmm. eh, uh, Welcome to the literature club. It's a pleasure meeting you. <laughs> yeah, I'm going with it. <laughs> Sayori always says nice things about you. Seriously? You what? Oh, it's an- Oh, man. Okay, I I'm just gonna do rattle voice. Seriously, you brought you brought a boy. Way to kill the atmosphere. Oh, there's so many voices. Okay, I'm just doing one typical voice. I, I can't. Ah, oh, Chibi, what a nice surprise. Welcome to the club. All words escape me in this situation. I'm just gonna have one voice. I'm sorry, I can't. I I, I can't. I'm not that talented enough. I can't. All these words escape me in this situation. This club is full of incredibly cute girls. Okay, yeah, they are pretty cute. Now I think about it. I, I want to be honest here. I like the right one. That chest is pretty nice. Back in line. What are you looking at? If you want to say something, say it. Sorry. Natsuki. Hmm. The girl with the sour attitude, whose name is apparently Natsuki, is one I don't recognize. Her small figure makes me think she's probably a first year. She's also the one who made cupcakes, according to Sayori. You can just ignore. Oh. You can just ignore her when she gets moody. Sayori says that quietly into my ear, then turns back towards the other girls. Anyway, this is Natsuki, always full of energy. And this is Yuri, the smartest in the club. Don't say things like that. Oh, okay, I want, I want to do deep voice for Yuri. I, I got to. Don't say... <clears throat> don't say... <clears throat> I'm trying to do it. Don't say anything... I, I can't, wait. Don't say anything like that. Yuri, who uh, appears comparably more mature and timid, seems to have a hard time keeping up with people like Sayori and Natsuki. Ah, well, it's nice to meet both of you. Ah, and it sounds like you already know Monica. Is that right? That's right. It's great to see you again, Chibi. Monica smiles sweetly. We don't know each other well. We rarely talked, but we were in the same class last year. Monica was probably the most popular girl in class. Smart, beautiful, and athletic. Oh, okay, so she's like the class rep, usually. Basically completely out of my league. So having her smile at me so genuinely feels a little... You too, Monica. Come sit down, Chibi. We made room for you at the table, so you can sit next to me, or Monica. I'll get the cupcakes. 
Hey, I made them. I'll get them. Sorry, I got a little too excited. And how about... Oh, how about I make some tea as well? <laughs> the girls have a few desks arranged to form a table. As Sayori mentioned, it's been well widened so that there is one space next to Monica, one space next to Sayori. Natsuki and Yuri walk over to the corner of the room, where Natsuki grabs a wrap tray and Yuri opens the closet. Still feeling awkward, I take a seat next to Sayori. Natsuki proudly marches back to the table, tray in hand. Okay, are you ready? Ta-da! Whoa! Natsuki lifts the foil off the tray to reveal a dozen white fluffy cupcakes decorated to look like little cats. The whiskers are drawn with icing and little pieces of chocolate are used to make ears. So cute! I had no idea. Oh, oh. I had no idea you were so good at baking, Natsuki. Hehehe. <laughs> well, you know. Just hurry and take one. Sayori grabs one first, and Monica, I, I follow. It's delicious. Sayori talks her a mouthful and has already managed to get icing on her face. I turn the cupcake around in my fingers, looking for the best angle to take a bite. Natsuki is quiet. I can't help but notice her sneaking glances in my direction. Is she waiting for me to take a bite? There's something wrong with that cupcake. There's something wrong with that cupcake, isn't there? I finally bite- uh-oh. The icing is sweet and full of flavor. I wonder if she made it herself. This is really good. Thank you, Natsuki. Why are you thanking me? It's not like I- Haven't I heard this somewhere before? Made them for you or anything- Uh-oh, she's a Sooner Day. Okay. Eh? I thought you technically did, so I already said- Well, maybe. But not for you, you know, you you dummy. All right, all right. I give up on Natsuki's weird logic and dismiss the conversation while she is a tsundere. Something tells me there's going to be a yandere this much. Yuri returns to the table carrying a tea set. She carefully places a teacup in front of each other, uh, in front of each of us before setting down the teapot next to the cupcake tray. You keep a whole tea set in this classroom? Don't worry, the teachers gave us permission. After all, doesn't a hot cup of tea help you enjoy a good book? Uh, I guess. Hehe, <laughs> don't let yourself get intimidated. Yuri's just trying to impress you. Eh, that's not... Insulted, Yuri looks away. I admit that, you know. I believe you. While tea and reading might not be a pastime for me, but I at least enjoy tea. I'm glad. Yuri faintly smiles to herself in relief. Monica raises an eyebrow, then smiles at me. So what's your... What made you consider the literature club? Uh, I was afraid of this question. Something tells me I shouldn't tell Monica that I was practically dragged here by Sayori. Well, I haven't joined any clubs yet, and Sayori seemed really happy here, so... That's okay. Don't be embarrassed. I'll make sure you feel right at home, okay? That's creepy, in a way. As president of the literature club, it's my duty to make the club fun and exciting for everyone. Monica, I'm surprised. How come you decide to start your own club? You could probably be a board member for any of the major clubs. Weren't you a leader of the debate club last year? <laughs> well, you know, to be honest, I can't stand all the politics around the major clubs. It feels like it's nothing but arguing about the budget and publicity and how to prepare for events. I'd much rather take something I personally enjoy and make something special out of it. Even if it encourages others to get into literature, then I'm fulfilling that dream. Monica really is a great leader. Yuri also nods in agreement. Then I'm surprised there aren't more people in the clubs yet. It must be hard to start a new club. You could put it... You could put it that way. Not many people are very interested in putting out all the effort to start something brand new. Especially when it's something that doesn't grab your attention, like literature. You have to work hard to convince people that you're both fun and worthwhile, but it makes school events like the festival that much more important. I'm confident that we can all grow in this club before we can... Uh, oh, my bad. I'm confident that we can all really grow this club before we graduate. Right, everyone? Yay! We'll do our best. You know it! Everyone... Um, everyone enthusiastically agrees. Such different girls, all interested in the same goal. Monica must have worked really hard just to find these three. Maybe that's why they were also delighted by the idea of a new member joining. Though I still don't really know if I can keep up with their level of enthusiasm about literature. So, Chibi, what kind of things do you like to read? Well, I like manga, doujins, you know, I'm a cultured person. Well, uh, 
Considering how little I've read these past few years, I don't really have a good way of answering that. Manga. I mutter quietly to myself, half jokingly. Natsuki's head suddenly perks up. It looks like she wants to say something, but she keeps quiet. Not much of a reader, I guess. Well, that can change. What am I saying? I spoke about thinking after seeing Yuri's sad smile. Anyway, what about you, Yuri? Well, let's see. Yuri traces the rim of her teacup with her finger. My favorites are usually novels that build deep and complex fantasy worlds. The level of creativity and craftsmanship behind them is amazing to me. And telling a good story in such a foreign world is equally impressive. Yuri goes on, clearly passionate about her reading. She seems so reserved and timid since the moment I walked in, but it's obvious by the way her eyes light up that she finds her comfort in the world of books, not people. But you know, I like a lot of things. Stories with deep, psychological elements usually immerse me as well. Oh, she sounds like my type of girl! Like that! Isn't it amazing how a writer can so deliberately take advantage of your own lack of imagination to completely throw you for a loop? Anyway, I've been reading a lot of horror lately. Ah, ah, I read a horror book once. I desperately grasped something I could relate to on a minimum level. At this rate, Yuri might as well be having a conversation with a rock. Really? I wouldn't have expected that, Yuri. For someone as gentle as you- Uh-oh, she's gonna be a, a yandere, ain't she? I guess you could say that. But if a story makes me think or takes me to another world, then I really can't put it down. Surreal horror is often very successful at changing the way you look at the world, if only for a brief moment. Eh, uh, I hate horror. Oh, what's that? Well, I just- Natsuki's eyes dart over to me for a split second. Never mind. That's right. You usually- um, That's right, you usually like to uh, write about cute things, don't you, Natsuki? Wh what What gives you that idea? You left a piece of scrap paper behind last club meeting. It looked like you were working on a poem called- Don't say it out loud! Give that back! Fine, fine. <laughs> your cupcakes, your poems, everything you do is just as cute as you are. Sayori slides up uh, Oh, Sayori slides up behind Natsuki and puts her hands on her shoulder. Oh, whoa, we getting some, uh, get some Yuri going on here? Mm. I'm not cute! Natsuki, you write your own poems? Uh, uh, eh, well, I guess sometimes. Why do you care? I think that's impressive. Why don't you share them sometime? No, no! Natsuki averts her eyes. You wouldn't like them. Uh, not a very confident writer yet. I understand how Natsuki feels. Sharing that level of writing takes more than just confidence. The truest form of writing is writing to oneself. You must be willing to open up to your readers, exposing your vulnerabilities and showing even the deepest reaches of your heart. Do you have writing experience too, Yuri? Maybe if you share some of your work, you could set an example and help Natsuki feel comfortable enough to share hers. I guess it's the same for Yuri. Ah, uh, I wanted to read everyone's poem. We all sit in silence for a moment. Okay. I have an idea, everyone. Natsuki and Yuri look uh, quizzically at Monica. Let's all go home and write a poem of our own. And next time we meet, we'll all share them with each other. That way, everyone is even. Uh... Yeah, let's do it. Plus, that's th that we now have a new member, I think it will help us all get a little more comfortable with each other and strengthen the bond of the club. Isn't that right, Chibi? Monica smiles warmly at me once again. Hold on. There's still one more problem. Eh? What's that? Now that we're back to the original topic of me joining the club, I bluntly come forth with what's been on my mind the entire time. I never said I would join this club. Sayori may have convinced me to stop by, but I never made any decision. I still have other clubs to look at, and, um... I lose my train of thought. All four girls stare at me with you de ah, having a stroke here. With dejected eyes. But, but. I'm sorry. I thought. <laughs> Chibi. You, you all. I'm defenseless, defenseless against these girls. How am I supposed to make a clear-headed decision when it's like this? That is, if writing poems is the price I need to pay in order to spend every day with these beautiful girls... Right. Okay, I'll de I've decided then. I'll join the literature club. One by one, the girl's eyes light up. Yeah! I'm so happy! So I already wraps her arms around me, jumping up and down. 
Uh, hey. You really did scare me for a moment. If you really just came for the cupcakes, I would be super pissed. Then that makes it official. Welcome to the literature club. Uh, thanks, I guess? Okay, everyone. I think with that, we can officially end today's meeting on a good note. Everyone, remember tonight's assignment. Write a poem to bring to the next meeting so we all can share. Monica looks over at me once more. Chibi, I look forward to seeing how you express yourself. <laughs> yeah. Can I really impress the class star Monica with my mediocre writing skills? I already feel the anxiety welling up inside me. Meanwhile, the girls continue to chit-chat as Yuri and Natsuki clean up their food. Hey, Chibi, since we're already here, do you want us to walk home together? That's right, Sayori and I never walk home together anymore because she's always stayed after school for clubs. Sure, might as well. Yay! With that, the two of us depart the club room and make our way home. The whole way, my mind wanders back and forth between the four girls. Sayori, Natsuki, Yuri, and of course, Monica. Will I really be happy spending each day or every day after school in a literature club? Perhaps I'll have the chance to grow closer to one of these girls. Oh, I get to choose. I'm doing Yuri. I'm sorry, guy. I gotta do it. She likes, you know, the stuff I like. All right. I'll just need to make the most of my circumstances, and I'm sure good fortune will find me. And I guess that starts with writing a poem tonight. Ooh. Ooh, my... Pick words you think your favorite club members will like. Something good might happen with whoever likes your poem the most. Okay. I want to save. I want to quickly have a save here. Okay. Return. Okay, so, hmm. I want to do analysis. Okay. Fantasy. Yeah, I know she likes, I know Yuri likes fantasy, so I'm going fantasy. Treasure, climax, misery. Misery, ooh. Yeah, I'll go misery. Oh, oh, oh. Hey, actually, double click. Oops. Oh, well. Too bad. Um. Broken and misfort. Ooh. Going broken. Uh. The Spies, Vivid Games, Doki Doki. Doki Doki. Well. Okay. I'll, I'll, I'll do Doki Doki because it's the title. I want to see where that goes. Bl uh, blanket, Frightening, Fester, Secretive, Waterfall, Ribbon, Cage, Special. Uh. Okay, let's do Cage. Friends. Vibra tragedy. That, that stands up to me. Graveyard, Comfort, Melody, Kawaii, Laugh, Party, Vitality, Hopeless, Forgive, Music. Hopeless. Uh, horror. Um, pleasure. Philosophy, Bliss. Boop. Boop? <laughs> what the boop? Uh, I like philosophy, though. Okay, um. Deaf, sugar, childhood flea, nightgown. Ooh, I like nightgowns. Masker. Yeah, I'm gonna go nightgown. Um, vacation, agonizing, rose, unknown, strawberry, cheeks, peace. Cheeks, I do like them cheeks. Shame, existence, infallible, anger, peaceful, excitement, fireflies, extraordinary, mouse, cheer. Mm. I'd say extraordinary. Smile, disarray, chocolate, color, whistle. I do like bunnies. Essence, heart, precious. precious. Pure, scars, giggle, together, dance, lipstick, intellectual, papa. Papa? 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 What? What? Uh, I'll do intellectual. Beauty, jumpy, fireworks, clumsy, daydream, imagination, canny, explode, headphones, dark. Embrace, bouncy, nibble, raincoat, or rainbow, amazing, fickle, sorry, did hope. He is a loner, technically, so I'll go with the character what he said earlier. He said he's a loner. Okay. Hi, Chibi. Or hi again, Chibi. Glad to see you didn't run away on us. Ha ha ha. Nah, don't worry. This might be a little strange for me, but I at least kept my word. While well, I'm back at the literature club, I was the last to come in, so everyone else is already hanging out. Thanks for keeping your promise, Chibi. 
I hope this isn't too overwhelming of a commitment for you. Making you dive headfirst into literature when you're not accustomed to it. Oh, come on. Mikey deserves any slack. So you already told me you didn't even want to join any clubs this year. And last year, too. I don't know if you plan to just come here and hang out or what. But if you don't take us seriously, then you won't see the end of it. Natsuki, you certainly have a big mouth for someone who keeps her manga collection in the club room. Mm -mm -mm. Natsuki finds herself stuck between saying Monica and manga. Manga is literature! Swiftly defeated, Natsuki plops back to her seat. Don't worry, guys. Chibi always gives it his best as long as he's having fun. That, that's very true. He helps me with busy work without me even asking. Like cooking, cleaning my room. How dependable. Say, oh, <clears throat> Sayori, that's because your room is so messy, it's distracting. Oh, man. And you almost set your house on fire once. Is that so? <laughs> you two are really good friends, aren't you? I might be a little jealous. How come? You and Chibi can become good friends, too. Ooh, yes, please. Uh, oh, um. Sayori? Hmm? As usual, Sayori seems oblivious to the weird situation she just put me into. Oh, oh, Yuri! Even brought you something today, you know? Wait, Sayori. Eh, me? Uh, that really. Don't be shy. It's really nothing. What is it? N never mind. Sayori made it sound like a big deal when it's really not. Uh, what do I do? I'm sorry, Yuri. I wasn't thinking. I guess that means it's up for me, uh, to me to rescue this situation. Hey, don't worry about it. First of all, I wasn't expecting anything in the first place. So any nice gesture from you is a pleasant surprise. It'll make me happy no matter what. Is that so? Yeah, I won't make it a big deal if you don't want it to be. All right. Well, here. You reach into, uh, Yuri reaches into her bag and pulls out a book. I didn't want you to feel left out. So I picked out a book that I thought you might enjoy. It's a short read, so it should keep your attention, even if you don't usually read. And we could, you know, discuss it if you want. This is... How is this girl accidentally being so cute? She even picked out a book she thinks I'll like, despite me not reading much. Yuri, thank you. I definitely read it. I enthusiastically take the book. Phew. Well, you can read it at your own pace. I look forward to hearing what you think. Now that everyone's settled in, I expected Monica to kick off some schedule activities with the club. But that doesn't seem to be the case. So Yuri and Monica are having a cheery conversation in the corner. Yuri's face is already buried in the book. I can't help but notice her intense expression like she was waiting for this chance. Meanwhile, Natsuki is uh, rummaging around in the closet. Man, it looks like no one wants to be bothered today. I slumped down in the nearest desk. How am I supposed to occupy myself with something literature related by myself like this? I guess I could always read some of the book Yuri gave me, but I'm feeling a little too tired to read. I could probably fall asleep right now. I close my eyes and end up listening in on Sayori's conversation with Monica. We're probably going to seem really lame compared to all the other clubs, though. So. Hmm? Well, we can't give up. The festival is our chance to show everyone what literature is all about. The problem is that the idea of a literature club sounds too dense and intellectual. It's not like that at all, you know? I just need a way of showing that to everyone. Something that speaks to their creative minds. Mmm. That doesn't solve the problem, though. Eh? What do you mean? Even if we come up with the most fun thing ever, nobody will come in the first place if it's a literature event. So it's more important to figure out how to get people to show up in the first place, you know? And after they come, we can do the thing to speak to their creative minds. What's this? Sayori is taking this seri really seriously. It's rare to hear her deliberately uh, deliberating like this. Huh? Huh? That's a good point. In that case, do you think food will do the trick? My kind. Oh, oh, they're talking about, yeah, they're talking about me. <laughs> ah, well, I guess we could. Cupcakes! Haha, <laughs> good thinking. Natsuki would love to do that. Ah, you're right. Natsuki made the best cupcakes. That works out perfectly. That wasn't why you suggested it. Cupcakes speak to my creative tummy. Oh, she's cute. She's cute. Cupcakes it is, then. I'm hungry. Anyway, we still need to work out the details of the event itself. 
I find myself smiling. In the end, Tayori is still her usual self. But therein lies the unexpected reason I admire her. Unlike me, who has trouble finding any motivation at all, Sayori can put her mind to things and make them come to life. I suppose that's why I end up letting her go get on my case about things. I can't help but wonder what it would be like to see the world through her eyes. Ooh -ah! Or, ooh -ah. I open my eyes to find Sayori's face filling my vision. I nearly fall out of my chair. Hehehe, <laughs> sorry. Wait, actually, I'm not sorry at all. It's your fault for sleeping like that. This isn't the napping club. Does our school have a napping club? You're staying up late again, aren't you? Now that you're in a club, you're gonna have less time for anime, you know. I need to get used to it. Don't say that out loud. I glance over my shoulder to see if Monica overheard. It's true, though. Yeah. I know, I know. You're always looking out for me, Sayori. Hehe. <laughs> it's what I do best. That's a problem. <laughs> this sounds like me. What about you? You look out for me better than you look out for yourself. Hmm. You still oversleeping every day, aren't you? Eh. Not, not every day. That's not very convincing. How many days this past week have you gotten up on time? That's... It's a secret. I knew it. Give me the benefit of the doubt! I can't even do that. Look, Sayori, it's written all over your face. Eh? Sayori glances around at herself. How's it written all over my face? Or all over me? You were clearly in a rush this morning. Look, your hair is sticking out all around here. Hmm. Eh? I run my fingertips down the side of Sayori's hair, trying to straighten it out. Man, you really need a brush for this. My hair is just really hard to get right. I won't fall for that. There's more than just your hair. Look, your bow isn't straight either. Oh, it isn't straight. <laughs> Look, your bow isn't straight either. And there's a t and there's a toothpaste stain on your collar right here. Is there? I don't see any. Wait. Oh no, that looks like buttons. Okay. I tried to wipe off the stain with my finger. Nobody would even ever notice that. Of course they would. Nobody's gonna tell you about it because they don't want to embarrass you. Fortunately, I really don't care about that. <laughs> I'm a great character. I'm a great character. I love it. Hey! You meanie! And you don't even keep your blazer buttoned up. Seriously, Sayori. Why do you think you don't have a boyfriend yet? Yo! Oh my! Whoa! Eh! That's super mean! Sorry, but you'll thank me later. I start to push her blazer from the bottom. Once you see how much better it looks, she'll change your mind. Ooh! Ooh! I like that. <laughs> this is so funny. What is? Well, I was just thinking how weird it is to have a friend who does these kind of things. Eh? Don't say that. Don't make me feel weird about it, stupid. It's okay, though. I'm happy we're like this. Aren't you? Eh. Uh, I, I guess. Hey! Be careful. The button might come off. Why is this one so hard to close? I struggle to fully close... Wait, I struggle to fully close the button here. Oh, it's because she has large... Oh, bye. Does this thing even fit you properly? Heh. <laughs> it did when I bought it. If you ever button it, you would have known sooner that it doesn't fit you anymore. What are you smiling about? It means my boobs got bigger again. D don't say that out loud. Heh. <laughs> anyway, you look much better now. So, ah, why does it feel strange to see Sayori's blazer button up like that? But it's so stuffy. Uh, it's not worth it at all. Sayori hastily unbuttons her blazer once more. Phew! That's so much better. So already puts her arms out and twirls around. So if I keep it unbuttoned, then I won't get a boyfriend, right? What kind of logic is that? And why are you saying that like it's a good thing? Because... If I had a boyfriend, he wouldn't even let you do things like this. And you take better care of me than anyone else would, anyway. 
So that's why I keep hitting a button. Stop saying all these embarrassing things. Eh? I didn't say anything embarrassing. I didn't say anything embarrassing. Jeez. Well, anyways, just focus on trying to wake up a little earlier. Only if you focus on going to bed earlier. Touche. Touche. Fine, fine. It's a deal. Hey! I guess we really are better at taking care of each other than we are taking care of ourselves. Yeah, I guess so. Hmm. So maybe you should come wake me up in the morning. You're doing it again. You're doing it again, Sayori. Ah, but I was joking that time. Man, it's impossible to tell with you sometimes. Okay, everyone! Eh? Or eh? Monica suddenly calls out. Why don't we share the poems we wrote now? Yay! Chibi, I can't wait to read yours. Or, yeah, same. Okay, one sec. I fell to sound enthusiastic, but Sayori still trots away to retrieve her poem. By the way, did you remember to write a poem last night? Yeah. My rea oh, relaxation ends. I can't believe I agreed to do something this something so embarrassing. Oh. Oops. My bad. The wrong button. I can't believe I did something so embarrassing. I couldn't really find much inspiration since I've never really done this before. Well, now that everyone's re Now that everyone's ready, why don't you find someone to share with? I can't wait. Sayori and Monica enthusiastically pull out their poems. Sayori is on a wrinkled sheet of loose leaf torn from a spiral notebook. On the other hand, Monica wrote hers in a composition notebook. I can already see Monica's pristine handwriting from where I sit. Natsuki and Yuri re reluctantly comply as well, reaching into their bags. I do the same myself. Who should I show my poem to? I want to do Yuri. I want Yuri. Yuri seems the most experienced, so I should start with her. I can trust her opinion to be fair. Mm. Yuri stares at the poem. A minute passes, more than enough time for her to finish reading. Um. Oh. Sorry. I forgot to start speaking. Mm. It's fine, don't force yourself. I'm not. I just need to put my thoughts into words. Hold on. Okay. This is your first time writing a poem, right? Uh, yeah. Why do you ask? I'm just making sure. I guess that it might be after reading through it. Ah, so it's that bad? No! Did I just raise my voice? Um, I'm so sorry. Yuri buries her face in her hands. I couldn't help but notice that it's been several minutes and we really haven't gotten anywhere. It might take Yuri a while to get used to new people. It's fine! I really didn't notice. What were you saying? Right, um, it's just that. There are specific writing habits that are usually typical of new writers. And having been through that myself, I kind of learned to pick up on them. I think the most noticeable thing I recognize in new writers is that they try to make their style very deliberate. Wait, you're trying to say I was deliberate toward... Am I getting exposed to uh, trying to go after it? Okay, well done. In other words, they tend to pick a writing style separate from the topic matter and they form fit the two together. The ending result is the both the style and the expressiveness all weakened. Once Yuri finds her train of thought, it's as if her demeanor totally changes. Her stammering uh, is completely gone and she sounds like a expert. Of course, there's not something you can be blamed for. There are so many different skills and techniques that go into writing even a simple poem. Not just finding them and building them, but getting them to work together is probably the most challenging part. It might take you some time, but it all comes with practice and learning by example and trying new things. I also hope that everyone else in the club gives you valuable feedback. Natsuki can be a little bit biased, though. Biased? How? Um, well, never mind. I shouldn't be talking about people like that. Sorry. It's fine. I'm not sure if Yuri's apologizing to herself, to me, or to Natsuki. Do you mind if I read your poem, though? Please do. I'd love to share my thought process behind it. Yuri smiles dreamily as if it's a rare opportunity for her. Which itself is kind of funny. After all, isn't this supposed to be a literature club? Ghost under the light. The tendrils of my hair illuminate beneath the amber glow. Bathing. It must be this one. The last remaining uh, street light to have withstood the test of time. 
the last yet to be replaced by the sickening blue-green hue of the future. I bathe, calm, breathing air of the present, the living in the past. The light uh, flickers. I flicker back. Huh. So she's saying she's like a ghost? Uh, I'm, I'm sorry I have such terrible handwriting. What? I wasn't thinking now. I was thinking. I want to be honest. But it took you long enough to read. A long time to read. Ah, well, I just don't read script very often. I actually think your handwriting is pretty. Eh, that's a relief. Also, I like the poem. Even though it's short, it was really descriptive. It wasn't, it wasn't too short. I usually write longer poems. Not at all. I'm really glad you like it. I'll be honest, since it's our first time sharing, I wanted to write something a little more mild. Something easy to digest, I suppose. Are you into ghost, Yuri? <laughs> Actually, the story is about a ghost at all, Chibo. Okay. Really? I must have totally missed the point. I, I missed the point. Well, I suppose you did only glance over it, after all. But remember that poets often express their own thoughts, feelings, and experiences in their work. They usually do more than tell a simple story or paint a picture. In this case, perhaps the subject of the poem is only being symbolically compared to a ghost, lingering in her last remaining place of comfort, unable to let go of the past, and soon to be left without nothing. That's a lot more solemn putting it that way. I haven't even thought of that. That's impressive. It's nothing, really. Well, it makes me happy that you think that. Oh, it makes me happy that you think that. Just remember that it won't be long before you pick up on these things, too. Yeah, or yeah, maybe you're up. I guess I'll have to keep trying. I'm counting on you. Who should I show my poem to next? Uh, let's do Monica. Hi, Chibi. Having a good time so far? Uh, yeah. Good, glad to hear it. By the way, since you're new and everything, if you ever have any suggestions for the club, like new activities or things we can do better, I'm always listening. Don't be afraid to bring things up, okay? All right, I'll keep that in mind. Of course, I'll be afraid to bring things up. I'm much better off just going with the flow until I'm more settled in. Anyway, want to share your poem with me? It's kind of embarrassing, but I guess I have to. Ha <laughs> ha. Don't worry, Cheaty. Don't worry, Cheaty. We're all a little embarrassed today. You know, but it's that sort of barrier that we all learn to get past soon. Yeah, that's true. I hand Monica my poem. Hmm. I like this one. It makes me think of something Sayori would like. Is that so? You and Sayori are really good friends, right? I wouldn't be surprised if you had those sort of things in common. Ah, well. We may be good friends, but Sayori and I are actually very different. Hmm. Well, that may be the case. But maybe there are also some similarities that you wouldn't expect. The way she talks about you, sounds like the two of you really care about each other well, well-being. Even if you show it in different ways, it ends up being more similar than you think. So I think that's the kind of vibe I get when reading your poem. Hmm. You sure you're not reading into it too much? Ha! Huh. I could be. Oh gosh, I sound like Yuri. But in any case, Sayori's writing has kind of a gentle feel to it. I can tell that she likes exploring with emotions like happiness and sadness. Who knew that someone so happy would enjoy sad things, too? Yeah, that's totally unexpected. Well, but to each their own. And you shouldn't be afraid to experiment a little bit, either. I'm sure I'll end up trying different things a lot. It could take a while before I feel comfortable doing this. That's okay. I'd love to see you try new things. That's the best way to find the kind of style that suits you. Everyone else might be a little bit biased towards their own kind of styles. But I'll always help you find what suits you the most. So don't force yourself to write the way everyone else wants you to write. It's not like you have to worry about impressing them or anything. Haha. <laughs> ah uh -huh. Anyway, do you want to read my poem now? Don't worry, I'm not very good. You sound pretty confident for someone who claims to not be very good. Well, well, that's because I have to sound confident. That doesn't mean I always feel that way, you know. I see. Well, let's read it then. Hole in wall. It couldn't have been me. See the direction. 
spackled uh, protrudes, a noisy neighbor, an angry boyfriend. I'll never know. I wasn't home. I peer inside for a clue. No, I can't see. I reel blind like a film left out in the sun. But it's too late. My retinas already scorched with a permanent copy of the meaningless image. It's just a little hole. It wasn't too bright. It was too deep. Stretching forever into everything in a hole. Uh, wait, stretching ever into a hole wasn't too bright. It was too deep, stretching forever into everything, a hole of infinite choices. I realized now that I wasn't looking in. I was looking out. And he on the other side was looking in. Whoa, that's deep. That's, that's a deep one. Oh, man, that's deep. So, what do you think? Hmm, it's very free form, if that's what you call it. Sorry, I'm not really the right person to ask for feedback. Haha, <laughs> it's okay. Yeah, that kind of style's gotten pretty popular nowadays. That is, a lot of poems have put have been putting emphasis on the timing between words and lines. When performed out loud, it can be really powerful. What was the inspiration behind this one? Uh, well, I'm not sure if I know how to put it. I guess you could say that I had some kind of epiphany recently. It's been influencing my poems a bit. An epiphany? Yeah, something like that. I'm kind of ner- I'm kind of nervous to talk about deep stuff like that, because it's kind of coming on strongly. Maybe after everyone is better friends with each other. Anyway, here's Monica's writing tip of the day. Sometimes when you write a poem or a story, your brain gets too fixated on a sp- sp <sighs> Having another stroke. Specific point. If you try so hard to make it perfect, then you'll never make any progress. Just force yourself to get something down on pa the paper and tidy it up later. Another way to think about it is this. If you keep your pen in the same spot for too long, you'll just get a big dark puddle of ink. So just remove your hand and go with the flow. That's my advice for today. Thanks for listening. Who should I show my poem to next? I guess, uh, Sayori. Oh, my goodness! This is so good, Chidi! Eh? I love it! I had no idea you're such a good writer! Sayori. You must be seriously overreacting. I'm not a good writer at all. I honestly have no idea what I'm doing. <laughs> well, maybe that's why. Because I have no idea what I like either. <laughs> Jeez. Yuri's opinion was way more constructive than this. Maybe even Natsuki's. Are you sure you don't like it just because I wrote it? Eh, well, I'm sure that's part of it. I think I understand you better than a lot of other people, you know. So when I read your poem, it's not just a poem. It's a chibi poem! And that makes it feel extra special. Like I can feel your feelings in it. Sayori hugs the sheet against her chest. You're so weird, Sayori. <laughs> I'm really happy just that you wrote one. It just reminds me of how you're really a part of the club now. Not to, Not to mention the fact that I'm standing in front of you in the club room. <laughs> well, of course. I'm not really into it yet, but that doesn't mean I'll break my promise. See? It's like I said before, Chidi. Deep down, you're not selfish at all, you know. Try new things like this for other people. That's something that only really good people do. Thanks, Sayori. I'm not sure if Sayori sees the full picture of my motives here. Then again, I can't deny that she's part of the reason I joined. Knowing how much this means to her and all. Yeah, and I'm going to make sure you have lots of fun here, okay? That would be my way of thanking you. Alright, I'm going to hold you to that then. Yay! Now you'll read my poem too, right? Don't worry, I'm really bad at this. <laughs> well, we'll see about that. Dear Sunshine, the way you glow through my blinds in the morning, it makes me feel like you missed me. Kissing my forehead to help me out of bed, making me rub the sleepy from my eyes. Are you asking me to come out and play? This is about me. The way you glow through my blinds in the morning, it makes me feel like you missed me. Kissing my forehead to help me out of bed, making me rub the sleepy from my eyes. Are you asking me to come out and play? Are you trusting me to wish away a rainy day? I took above, the sky is blue. I look above, the sky is blue. It's a secret, but I trust you too. If it wasn't for you, I could sleep forever. But I'm not mad. I want breakfast. <laughs> this is definitely about me. This is definitely about me. Sayori, this is just a guess, but... Did you wait until this morning to write this? No. Just a little bit. 
can't answer just a little bit to a yes or no question. I, I forgot to do it last night. Well, at least that makes me feel a little bit better about myself. Don't be mean. I still tried my best. Ah, uh, yeah. I didn't mean to say that it was a bad poem. It came out nice, or how should I put it? It sounds just like you. Really? Yeah. Especially that, especially that last line. I made eggs and toast! Even though you were late to school. It's bad to skip breakfast. That pout's too cute. I get all cranky. Well, I guess there's no point in arguing. Anyways, thanks for showing me. <laughs> this was so much fun. Monica's the best. Ah, uh, yeah. But, n but next time, I won't forget. I'm not going to write the best poem ever. Well, I guess I look forward to it. Okay, so Natsuki is last. So the manga there. Well, it's about what I expected from someone like you. Okay, 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 okay. You're being rude right off the bat. Okay, I see you. You're being rude. You're being rude. Well, it's about what I expect from someone like you. That's a little blunt. Well, excuse me. It's not like I said it was bad. It just didn't evoke any emotions. So basically, it's not cute enough for your taste. Do you want me? What, do you want it to get smacked? I'll pass. <sighs> well, anyway, I guess I need to show you mine. Not that you'll like it. Eagles can fly, monkeys can climb, crickets can leap, horses can race, owls can seek, cheetahs can run, eagles can fly, people can try, but that's about it. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Th this is beauty incarnate. Th this, this is ten out of ten. This is like a Rick and Morty. This, this is a Rick and Morty poem. Okay, that, that's what this is. Four hundred IQ Rick and Mor Morty poem right here. <laughs> yeah, I told you that you weren't gonna like it. I like it. What? Just be honest. I am. Why are you so convinced I wouldn't like it? Well, because everyone in the high school thinks that writing has to be all sophisticated and stuff. So people don't even take my writing seriously. But isn't that the point of poems for people to express themselves? Your writing style wouldn't make your message any less valid. Yes, exactly. I like it. I like when it's easy to read, but it hits you hard. Like in this poem. Seeing everyone around you do great things can be really disheartening. So I decided to write about it. Yeah, I understand. But the other nice things about simple writing is that it puts more weight on the wordplay. Like I set up for a, r a rhyme at the end, but then it made it fall flat on purpose. It was bringing out the feelings in the last line. So, you did. I guess more went into it than I realized. That's what it means to be a pro! I'm glad you learned something. Didn't expect that from the youngest one here, did you? Yeah, guess not. I decided to humor her with that last comment. I don't really care how old everyone is, but if Natsuki is feeling proud, then I won't take that away from her. <laughs> Phew. I guess that's everyone. I glanced around the room. That was a little more stressful than I anticipated. It's as if everyone is judging me for my mediocre writing abilities. Even if that's just being nice, there's no way my poems could stand up to theirs. This is a literature club, after all. I sorry. <sighs> I guess that's what, what I ended up getting myself into. Across the room, Sayori and Monica are happily chatting. My eyes land on Yuri and Natsuki. They gingerly exchange sheets of paper, sharing their respective poems. As they read in tandem, at tandem I watch each of their expressions change. Natsuki's eyebrows furrowed in frustration. Meanwhile, Yuri smiles sadly. <laughs> What's with this language? Eh? Ah, uh, did you say something? Oh, it's nothing! Natsuki dismissively returns the poem to the desk one hand. I guess you could say it's fancy. Ah, thanks. And yours is cute. Cute! Did you completely miss the symbolism or something? <laughs> oh yeah, that's good. That's good. Yes, yes. So much symbolism. The symbolism is too strong. Oh. It's clear about the feelings of giving up! 
How can that be cute? Ah, uh, I, I know that. It just, I just meant the language, I guess. I was trying to say something nice. Eh? You mean you have to try that hard to come up with something nice to say? Thanks, but it really didn't come out nice at all. Uh, well, I do have a couple suggestions. Hmm. If I was looking for suggestions, I would have asked someone who actually liked it. Which people did, by the way. So you already liked it. And Chibi did too. So based on that, I'll gladly give you some suggestions of my own. First of all... Excuse me. I appreciate the offer, but I've spent a long time establishing my writing style. I don't expect it to change anytime soon, unless of course I come across something particularly inspiring. Which, I haven't yet. Hmm! And Chibi liked my poem too, you know. He told, he even told me he was impressed by it. Natsuki suddenly stands up. Oh? I didn't realize you were so invested in trying to impress our new member, Yuri. Eh? That's not what I... Uh, you, you, you're just... Yuri stands up as well. Maybe you're just jealous that Chibi appreciates my, my, my advice more than he appreciates yours. Huh? And how do you know he didn't appreciate my advice more? Are you that full of yourself? If I was full of myself, I would deliberately go out of my way to make everything I do overly cutesy. Mm? Uh? Is everyone okay? Well, you know what? I wasn't the one whose booze magically grew a size bigger as soon as Chibi started showing up. Natsuki? Uh? I'm Natsuki, that's a little... This doesn't involve you! I don't like fighting, guys. Suddenly, both girls turn towards me. Oh. Suddenly both girls turned towards me as if they noticed I was standing there. Chibi. She, she's just trying to make me look bad. That's not true. She, she started it. And she could get over herself and learn to appreciate that simple writing is more effective. Then this wouldn't have happened in the first place. What's the point in making your poems all convoluted for no reason? The many should jump out at the reader, not force them to have to figure it out. Help me explain that to her, Chibi. Wait. There's a reason we have so many deep and expressive words in our language. It's the only way to convey complex feelings and meanings the most effectively. Avoiding them is not only unnecessarily limiting yourself, it's also a waste. You understand that, right, Chidi? Uh... Well... How did I get dragged in this in the first place? It's not like I know anything about writing. But whoever I agree with, they'll probably think more highly of me. <laughs> Natsuki Yuri, help me say Okay, so I could be the I, I I could do the easy way out. Say help me Sayori. I could say Yuri. I, I like the deep themes of Yuri. I, I'm sorry, I'm gonna have to go with Yuri. I, I, but I, I, I but Natsuki is so cute. I she said symbolism to. <laughs> that, that's cute as hell. I'm like. Yeah, I, I gotta go with Natsuki. I don't know. I, I, I like Natsuki. I, I like how she... I, I'm not a big Tsundere fan, but I like how she is just so expressive when it comes to the... To how she has symbols. <laughs> it's so good. It's so good. It, it, it has me dying. I'm not doing Help Me Sayori, because that feels like a cop-out. You know what? I want to save. I want to save, just in case. I, I have a feeling that this will be important. Okay. I'm doing... I'm doing Natsuki. Uh, Yuri, you're really talented. It, well, but Natsuki has a point. I think that, all right, my brain attempt to back myself up. I think that conveying feelings with few words can be just as impressive as well. It lets the reader's imagination take over. And Natsuki's poem did a really good job at that. Yeah, it did, didn't it? Haha, <laughs> shows how much you know. That's not Natsuki. I think that's enough. Huh? Me? But she was so mean to me. Natsuki's voice whines. Look. What we talked about yesterday was right. Writing is a rarely a really personal thing, and sharing it can definitely be hard. It looks like we learned that today. Even small criticism can lead to something pretty heated. I glance over my shoulder. Sayori is nodding vigorously. Yeah, so, you don't need to feel threatened. You're a great writer, Natsuki. Ah. Natsuki's voice gets caught in surprise. Thanks for noticing. She did. She finally mutters that, barely audible. Yuri? 
Jerry looks at me dejectedly. With a face like that, I can't help but feel bad for her as well. I'm sure that Natsuki didn't mean anything she said. So you don't need to feel threatened either. Well, if you say so. Hey! It's not like you need to apologize for me, Chibi! Sheesh! Natsuki takes a breath. Ah, uh, the thing about... Hmm. Natsuki glanced around the room. What? Everyone stop staring at me! Unsurprisingly, Natsuki has a harder time with it than she boasted. Sayori and Monica look away. Hmm. Anyway, the thing about your boobs, I didn't mean it, okay? That's all. Natsuki looks away, avoiding eye contact with anyone. Yeah, you're naturally beautiful, Yuri. Sayori. I'll go make some tea. Eh? I was just trying to help. I'm sure she appreciated it, Sayori. I pat Sayori on the shoulder. Well, now that we've passed that, everyone, everyone's read each other's poems, right? Hope that it was worthwhile for everyone. Especially you, Chibi. And to be honest, it's nice to change the pace from the lazing around we got a little too used to. Ha ha ha. Ah, so my joining the club is responsible for ruining the atmosphere. No, no, not at all, not at all. There's still time before we go home. So we'll all relax for a bit. Of course, besides chatting, we can do literature-related things in the club room. So maybe you could take the chance to pick up a book or do some writing. After all, that's what the club is for. I disagree, Monica! Huh? About what? That's not the most important thing about the literature club! The most important thing is having fun! Aha! Of course. Well, I guess that's why you're the vice president, Sayori. Hee <laughs> hee. In the end, though, Monica's right. Being in the literature club probably means I can't spend all my time doing nothing. But in the end, I guess it's been worth it so far. Okay, everyone, it's just about time for us to leave. How did y'all feel about sharing poems? It was a lot of fun. Well, i say it was worth it. It was all right. Well, mostly. Chibi, how about you? Yeah, I'd say the same. It was a neat thing to talk about with everyone. Awesome. In, the, in that case, we'll do the same thing tomorrow. And maybe you learn something from your friends, too. So your poems will turn out even better. I think to myself... I did learn a little more about these kinds of poems everyone likes. With any luck, that means I can at least do a better job impressing those I want to impress. I nodded myself a newfound determination. Chibi! Ready to walk home? Sure, let's go. Hehe. <laughs> Sorry, beams at me. It truly has been a while since I only have spent this much time together. I can't really say I'm not enjoying it either. Sayori? About what happened earlier? Eh? What do you mean? Hey, what do you mean? You know between... <clears throat> you know between Yuri and Natsuki. Does that kind of thing happen often? No, no, no. That's really the first time I've seen them fight like that. I promise they'll bo they're both wonderful people. You don't... don't hate them, do you? No, I don't hate them. I just wanted your opinion, that's all. I can see why they make good friends with you. Phew. You know, Chibi, it's nice I get to spend time with you in the club. But I think seeing you get along with everyone else is what makes me the happiest. And I think everyone really likes you, too. That's... Hey, <laughs> every day is going to be so much fun. It looks like Sayori still hasn't caught on to the kind of situation I'm in. Sure, being friends with everyone is nice, but... Does it really need to stop there? Well, we'll just have to see what the future holds, Sayori. I pat Sayori on the shoulder. I say that more to myself than to her, but it's easy to use Sayori as an internal monologue sometimes. Okay! Yeah. Let's do this. Okay, so I think this is a perfect way to end it. I want to end the first part of this. This might be two parts. I don't know. This could be the second or first part. I have no idea. It just depends on how editing is going to go. But I think this is a good time to end the recording. So let me know your thoughts in the comments below how you felt about this video. Um, I don't know if this has turned out good or not. I, I have no idea. I, I I don't have any experience really when it comes to doing gameplay videos and I do hope you guys like this. I, I I had a lot of fun. I had a lot of fun starting this series. It seems like a very fun visual novel. I like it. Uh, we haven't really gotten into the messed up parts yet so I'm kind of curious where it's going to go. But overall though, it's pretty fun. Pretty fun. I, I like it. I, I like what I've seen so far from the series. Um, if you want more, let me know in the comments below. Leave likes as well if you enjoyed the video. If you like my content, please subscribe. And I'll see you next time for part two when I upload it. So, love you guys. Happy holidays, and please be safe. Chibi out.